passionate. I work hard to win it, pop it in on accident. Yeah, I'm always on go, better watch your watch. Oh, yeah, I'm looking crazy but it's not gonna be for long. Welcome back to the channel, okay? So I'm doing a wax video, I'm gonna do my face wax. Um, We're gonna talk about that as I'm doing a wax. So first things first, I'm gonna get my hair, my head together, okay? Watch how quick this gonna be. Boom, wig cap. And pull it back a little bit, cause it don't need to be seen, okay? So this video is going to be featuring Trust Wellness and I'm using their wax kit for the first time ever. You guys know I used another one um, and, a, and of course my previous video. Um, I've only done like one waxing video. Anywho, of course, someone called my phone. But um, yeah, I've only done one other waxing video. So this is going to be a new one for me. I'm going to tell you guys what I've been using and what I've been doing and what's had, what has been really, really helping me. But until we get there let me go ahead and put this wig on real quick so this is the thrifty slay headband wig okay this is my brand my company and as you can see our tag is a mirror you know we got combs up here comb in the back here i think we have yep combs on the side now i don't use all these combs because i don't need to so what i did was just slick the edges or whatever and then put the wig cap on you put your head band scarf. The only thing is you don't want the Velcro because it is Velcro to stick to the hair. So I'm going to take the comb, pull this back a little bit. And I want the top to have a comb in it like that because you do want some security. You can also use the side. Now, the only thing is I don't want it to pull and get on my nerves okay and you can use the back ones too like i said typically i don't use a bunch of combs but and at this point you just want to adjust it onto your head so if you want to pull it up some let me see because i don't want it all the way back there and then that's when you take the velcro strap this is stretchy I'm trying to make sure it doesn't stick to the hair. And you snap it back there. Okay. So now you are secure. Your wig is not going anywhere. And then what I'm going to do. So you can either just keep the black, which I might do for today. Or you can put a hairband on top of it. So. You can do something like what if you wanted, this is not a headband, but what if you want like a sparkle, you know, one of those chunky headbands, or I have some material here that matches my outfit. So I can take this and put this on and just tie it right and then bring it back this way. And bring this back that way so you can do something like that where I will actually make this thicker over here but you can do something like that make it thicker so that it actually covers the black portion of your headband and you can wear it like that I'm trying to find where this actually turns So I actually bought headbands from Amazon, but I don't even know where they're at. So you can do something like that. But like I said, I just like the black look. I don't really do colorful headbands like that, but I did buy a bunch of colorful ones just in case. I wanted to do that, but easy peasy. I'm looking at my text message while well, my email is coming in. And then you fluff it out or um, you do whatever you want to do from that point on. But real simple, real easy and y'all this is my newest favorite thing and i got kinky curly and i got um kinky straight as well so definitely check out the site for these babies 
and you don't see like no tracks or anything you could even do like um the half up half down look you can do a cute little bun or something up here and have everything else hanging down like y'all see the vision okay so for the sake of this i'm just gonna keep it how it is don't bother me here don't all right so let's go ahead and hop into the video let's get into the unboxing so prime okay so i got super quick delivery and sometimes i rip open these boxes oh my gosh like look how easy that was y'all all i have on is lashes i didn't even wax my face yet like come on now somebody but yeah i didn't even wax my face yet and it's so easy i don't have any like serum or anything i just wash my face put on some lashes slick down the edges and put on a headband wig all right this is the box okay so we have the box this is showing you everything that's inside have some features here telling you well this is telling you everything that's included in it um it does say um another side here so we have a warmer wooden sticks wax beans pre-wax whites after wax whites paper rings and gloves now i don't know what the paper rings are for but we shall see i like that it has a transparent lid um you have of course a temperature adjustment and the pot is removable as well and then it has an lcd screen so let's go ahead and get this bad boy out the box because wax does take a little while to warm so let me show you how it's packaged inside and this was actually a really good price i'm gonna leave the price on the screen somewhere over here but this was a really good price for everything that you get so you have this hard wax and if you don't like trust just any random hard wax you can always go ahead and get your own hard wax like i have like two brands of hard wax so i'm gonna see how this one is just for the sake of the video oh this is lemon i'm gonna use lemon today so i have whoa wait we have eucalyptus i might use eucalyptus you got tea tree peppermint lemon eucalyptus lavender i can't stand the smell of lavender so i hope these aren't too strong but this is the after wax spray but it's not in a spray bottle then you have the pre-wax spray i thought they were wipes that would make my life a little bit easier but i got cotton swabs then you have paper not papers wooden sticks here now i was wanting when i do my face i need smaller ones oh here we go look look at me about to talk before i even looked why my tv do that so we have it here the smaller wax sticks and that is pretty much that so this is the actual warmer it's super small it's nothing big that you have to carry and transport around so i like that it's really cute too i like the lcd screen now my other one didn't have the lcd it was just um this dial here but i like that this has lcd to tell me the exact temperature because y'all sometimes my shit was too hot i just didn't know but let me go ahead and plug it up and get it so you have the transparent lid here and we can get to it this is what it looks i love how transparent it is so i'll sit that there then they also gave gloves i know i love gloves when i do my makeup but this is perfect because i always need gloves you guys are sitting on a box of gloves right now if you don't believe me i'll show you then i have some more gloves over here i love gloves when i do my hair and my makeup so then you have the spray bottle tops i like how they made everything compact and then you want to be sure of course to remove this plastic before you turn it on or else it'll melt and that is the bowl and it does have this handle that you can lift it out with all right so i have so, it plugged in into my makeup mirror as you can see my other pot is there but we are using this one here this is how you turn it on as you can see so i'm gonna put it at about 
to get everything melted i'll turn it to oh i don't want that number i'll turn it to 116 and like i said i'm gonna use eucalyptus so let me open right, this so up I got it open so there you go got the wax beads in there satisfying then i'm going to take the lid here and just sit it on top and let it melt all right so while we're doing that let's talk about skincare okay so my shirt is like not even centered so skin my skin has first of all i tan over here okay because i um wear wigs clearly and it'd be sunny outside so that's that on that um but what i wanted to mention was basically um for skincare and as you can see like my skin has just been naturally brightening or brighter than what it used to be it used to be just really really bad to the point where not really really bad like oh my gosh like you know because i don't want to sound dramatic like oh i had such a huge tremendous change but no that's not the case but the case is it was really bad after i used to shave um i'm gonna go ahead and open these up but after i i used to shave my face i used to use v i tried nair nair never really worked for me um and that just caused like a lot of scarring a lot of irritation and it was just really ineffective at the end of the day because i had to do it multiple times a week if not every other day um i found myself feeling and as i talked about this and i'll let you guys comment this time i just didn't want you know people giving unsolicited advice before because you know people be like oh well i'm licensed i'm this i'm that and let me tell you you're doing it all wrong or you know whatever the case is and it's like i'm doing it myself and it's been fine my esthetician has not said anything crazy um you know when we were gone for what four months three four months outside when we couldn't go to the actual wax place so you needed to do it yourself so you had to learn somewhere start somewhere so i just didn't want those type of comments and if i see them i'm just gonna be like okay scroll past them or delete them because that's not what we're here for we are here to talk about this but i do appreciate how many people so many people flooded the dm saying you know thank you for this video and wanted some tips on other things and honestly i was saying to them like you know if you shave your face if you pluck your face all the time hours at a night before bed trying to pluck your face because you have hairs and stuff in it and you you know you don't want your partner to see or whatever the case is um this is a good a better you know solution even if it's not permanent because some people was like oh you should just you should just do this that and a third like you can't tell somebody what they should just do you know maybe i don't want laser maybe i don't want um things like that so um you know you can't really tell people what they should just do you know because people are going to do what they want to do especially daquana so um if i ever decide to get laser then i'll get laser but waxing has been working for me it's something that i like i like the sessions i like just going there i like the conversations i like doing it myself I, I just like it so you know can't take that away um so i just put the tops onto the wax sprays and that's pretty much that so i want to thank everybody who reached out because a lot of people said that it really helped them and i'm just letting the wax beads melt over here um, a lot of people said it really helped them when I did my video and talked about it. And, um, I did have insecurities about it at first, but now it's just like, look, it's natural. It happens. Um, hormonal imbalance, things like that. Some people have PCOS, just a lot of reasons, you know, sometimes it's genetic why you have hair growth and you shouldn't be embarrassed about it. You shouldn't have to feel like you need to be embarrassed about it either. So, um, and a lot of people was like, well, how do you tell someone? And it's like, just have a conversation and it comes up. If somebody asks me, yeah, I get waxed. I get my face waxed, my legs, my arms, and my vagina. And it's really that simple. And it's like, yeah, I have hair growth on my face because of hormonal imbalance or whatever your 
situation is just let it be known it shouldn't be embarrassing but i know like we are programmed to think women shouldn't have hair women shouldn't do this or that and blah 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 you know i understand that i get that completely but um if you trust your partner or you trust the person that you want to tell then just go ahead and let it be known and say yeah i get my face waxed and um it was something that bothered me it was something that i was uncomfortable with but um i want to basically confide in you and trust that you understand what's happening with my body like you know so what i've been using what i've been doing for my skincare i've been using um you can fast forward maybe i'll put a timestamp stamp um, for when i start waxing but for my skin and how it has been clearing up and how so much hair hasn't been growing back while well, i've been waxing for um and I'll leave the same like FAQs into this description because I might miss some things because this is not like a introductory video. I've done it before here. So to moisture. Oh, pain. Pain for me, I kind of like so it doesn't really bother me or I just tolerate, especially if I know the outcome on what it's going to be. So, you know, I like tattoos. I like piercings. I like things like that. So pain for me is not really um I guess that big of a deal so for me um face is not really that bad i don't really know what's the worst i know my upper lip is probably the thing that hurts the most but if you think about it i get my vagina done okay so if my upper lip hurts more than my vagina then i don't know i think it's just because it's so sensitive up here but um, and look, I'm talking to y'all with hair on my face. Like, I just like, I don't want to say I'm just completely comfortable with it, but it's just like, it happens and it is what it is. I remove it and I keep it going and I'm good for two weeks and I come back and remove it again, two to three weeks. So my hair used to grow back way thicker, way thicker than this, way thicker than this. You know, it used to be really, really prominent to the point where you can see it below my makeup or above my makeup. So when my hair would start growing back i would just try to use a bunch of orange color corrector and try to get it to lay down i even tried bleaching the hairs to make them lighter and i just was like i'm not doing that no more who wants to do that and a bleach stinks okay so what i started doing i started using um this turmeric soap and this is not sponsored by this company because somebody asked me that um i bought this maybe early summer i don't even know but I just recently started using it this past month, okay? It's December, so I started using it in, um, I'm gonna say January. <laughs> I started using it in November, and me and my esthetician, we noticed a major change. So she noticed it. I just had a wax appointment. I canceled it so I can do this video for y'all. Um, Sunday, today is Wednesday, so two weeks prior to that we noticed and we talked about it and she said what have you been doing and i started using it like a week before that so maybe three to four weeks ish i've been using this every other day and this is basically just a turmeric soap um it doesn't oh it has like a centronella scent or like a, a citrusy scent to it but it's a turmeric bar soap it's the mila gold beauty bar by mila x cosmetics and this has been working wonders for me um i noticed one turmeric is a natural um hair growth mineraliz mineralizer <laughs> minimizer so it has like my hair has not been growing back as thick as it could and then two as far as hyperpigmentation so if you have scarring if you have i think it works for acne scarring and things like that but i've been using it for hyperpigmentation so you can use this on it is for your face and stuff and it says um uh, two to three times a week so i just do it every other day and when i'm not doing that i just do my aveno face wash so um yeah this has been really really good and it's naturally been brightening up my skin like i see it i posted it and i talked about my skin i'll even leave like a little clip if i could find it somewhere when i was showing y'all my skin like it just looked really good and so in conjunction with this i do use my european wax renew me okay my face serum and i also use bio oil this is good for scarring as well and brightness so i guess in conjunction with all three of these that's what's been working and as far as exfoliating i either use their green bottle of exfoliator um 
I either use their green uh, body polish, I forget the scent, but it's in a green bottle and it's supposed to be safe for your face, or I will go in with this, but I don't really use this one as much as I should. Um, and this is the Reveal Me Face Exfoliate and Gel Mask. And it's just because you have to do it on like dry skin and by the time I remember my skin is wet and yeah, so. But I do use it when I remember to use it. But for the most part, my three products have been, or four, have been Aveeno and a Spin Brush. And on the days where I'm not doing Aveeno, I'm doing the Turmeric Soap. And every single day, I'm doing this once or twice a day. Both of these in conjunction. So that's what I've been doing for my skin. So now that this is melting over here, let me show you. So it's melting. So I'm about to actually just stir it in and then I'm going to bring that temperature down because it's really really hot I think it's good to if you want to fill up your bowl and put a bunch of beads in here and then um, turn the temperature high just so you can get it melted but then turn it back down because nobody wants to use this hot a <laughs> wax on them so if I have the comments turned on, you know, you guys can talk about what you guys do for your skin, your uh, skincare or your hair removal and things like that. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and turn them on because, I mean, it is what it is. You know, some people are kind of annoying. So that's why I turned them off in that video. But I think it's like a place where we can all talk. I know some people use different methods. Like some people say, hey, the pain is just for me or hey. I go to this place in this city or I use aloe instead of coconut oil and things like that. Or I just take the strip and I put it back on, you know, my skin in order to remove excess, um, what do you call it? Excess wax from the strips. So you can definitely, I love how this tells me the temperature. It makes my life so much easier. It's not so gentle. And Marissa be washing my drone. She be wiping my face, so. Oh, it smells good. I'm not even doing my eyebrows. I don't even know why I'm up there. Let me show you the consistency. So, it's really thick now. Sorry if you hear the, uh, the company picking up the trash. So... As you can see, it's thick, but you don't want it to be too hot, so we're going to use this thickness. So let's get started. So that first strip was actually a little like it wasn't that warm but it actually pulled the hairs off so right now I have it at 160 I'm gonna try to get it 160 was well, 161 um, I had it on 150 but that wasn't really warm but I mean it did, didn't have to be too hot apparently One thing I can say from the jump is that the residue is way less than what it was with the other wax that I had first tried, which is why I switched that wax out. That's the consistency. It's not super warm, but it's the consistency I like.
See how it's like too dry or dries too quickly? That's the only thing. That's the only thing I'm getting. So I'm going to turn it to 172. Like, cause you don't want it to be too, um, too cold to the point where you can't even work with it once it's on your face, but it's actually picking up real nicely and it's not. Ambassadors are sending back their contracts for me to sign. So. Well, they're now affiliates, so they're on paying levels of the I Want to Be um, program. So when people use their links to sign up, they get paid. Um, but they're sending me back their contracts now. I think when I chew gum, it kind of alleviates anything. And I think this eucalyptus is really, it's a stress reliever. I use eucalyptus, um, as you can see, like this is my diffuser oil. I use the eucalyptus stress release, um, relief candles, body, not the wash, but the hand soap, the body lotion. So I really do love <laughs> eucalyptus. Never thought about it in a wax. This really has not like, I don't know if my hair is just thinning out or what, but this has not been hurting. Like what? Y'all want to see some hairs? Now, before, this whole thing would be covered with hairs, but now it's just sporadic in a sense. And that's what um, my esthetician had told me. It's becoming more sporadic. So, we like sporadic, okay? Right now, I have it at 172. I like this because it's not too hot and I'm able to work with it. So, 172 seems to be a happy medium. It does take longer to dry when it's, of course, more runny. See, that cleanup don't work for me. But it's not like as much residue as I was getting with the other one. This one has some hairs. I love it. I love seeing it. <laughs> I love it. I really do. So, um, I've learned that Marissa has started to do the side strips coming down a little bit longer. So that this strip is not so long and painful. So, appreciate her for that. My sideburns, they used to be like real coarse. They have definitely, definitely gotten way thinner. Uh -oh. So that's why you don't wanna keep going over it cause you'll cause like a fold there, but it's not bad. Let me find out mama, it's a tissue. But I would go get certified. I honestly wouldn't mind at all. Um, I got big plans, y'all. Big, big plans. So I might need my certification.
this side of my face um, always hurts me more than this side. I had to think like the left side hurts more than the right. Uh, so far the pain has been like a three or four on this side, but this side is probably gonna be like a five. Not too bad. See that little shit do not work. Okay, for me. Sideburns. Typically, you're going over a space twice. So you're going downwards, then you're going upwards. I can't really see. So I'm really trying to just um, follow my face, feel. Oh, and if you're doing someone else, you might not want to use the same stick more than once. You might just want to, like, get the wax centers, put a stick in, throw it away, put a stick in, throw it away. But because I'm the only one using this, um, I'm using the same stick. Some people say pull your skin taut when you go to pull it off. Um, so it'll come off easier. A little cleanup trick don't work for me i'm gonna get it though all right and also when you're using the wax you might want to just use oh one pack at a time because you think it'll be more convenient but i like a wax pot that's more full so that it's not one super hot because i'm scraping the bottom of the pan for the wax and two it's easier to just pull out from the center Oh, this feels good. Now, my application ain't great, but it's something. Okay. And you can do it thinner, too. I do it thick, but I've gotten better with the thickness of it. If this starts to get too thick, I'll just switch to a new one, which I'm about to do. Because I'm not getting all the wax off of it, which is why I said application could be better. But I love this wax so far. It's one of the less painful ones that I've ever gotten or done. Look at what we got there. And this side also grows more hair than this side. I don't know why, that's just what happens with me. Let's see, I'm gonna try to do a thinner strip. It's getting a little too hot, so I'm taking it down to 167. Like, it's not hot burning me, but I feel like it's getting hot because I'm scraping the bottom of the pan. So that's why I said I like to use more. And then it's also gonna take longer to dry doing it like that. So I'm gonna take it to 165, actually. I still don't feel like it's um, cool enough. It's like, which way do I want to pull from? I mean, that was fine, but my thicker strips, as you can see, thinner strips leave more residue for me. Thicker strips don't be doing all that. Stirred around some, so it's not so hot.
Still wasn't ready. I thought. Tea for totter. It takes way longer. Oh, that was a good one. Look at that. Ooh, fun stuff. More residue. So apparently when it's hotter, it leaves more residue behind is what I'm getting. All right, the rest of this is gonna be speed through.
all right so we are at the last strip and i'm gonna show y'all like one pack was literally just enough for me to do my full face i may have had like some extra to do um my eyebrow maybe but i don't know i would have definitely put two packs but this was enough to get the job done that we needed to get done today um i'm literally scraping for the last one which i'm happy i was able to get okay hold on i got it dripping i need to roll it around some But yeah, that was like just enough. And at this point, I can't see the trash. All right, I got it. At this point is where you can actually take uh, your cotton balls and clean this out. I touched it too quick once and it like y'all gonna see it um it was sticking to my glove but so far it's like this was really really good really easy this is like I said one of my more easier waxes that I've ever done this is my last cleanup strip and that was pretty easy um really happy with how this turned out so usually at this part i will go in with um i adjusted this earlier i don't want it to be too far back okay usually i would go in with the coconut oil or bio oil any type of oil i even use like my teeny oil or something any oil that i have over here i'll just go in with it but i'm gonna try to use these this uh, after wax spray, it apparently removes wax residues. Um, and let's see, I'm gonna soak this cloth. I wanna make sure it don't burn y'all. like doing a job it's like doing basically what my coconut oil would do a clean one and I'm gonna just go over top and wipe off any excess um spray product whatever you want to call it I'm going to go ahead and booyah. So, I hate that. Like, my neck always looks super shiny. <laughs> that little creasy part. Anywho, so now I'm going to just take off the gloves because I feel like there's still product on there. And I should have kept them on in case I wanted to clean this out. But anywho, I'm going to take some of... My serum, I'm not going to take a lot, just not even a full pump, like literally just that much and just go on top. Just like that for my lips, aqua four. use aquaphor then i'm gonna use um my lip gloss i 
I didn't know that was like an iridescent one. So we gonna put, put that right back where we got it from and go on with this one here. This one actually is almost gone. This is my Nana Coco. I like it. Okay, make sure our headband is right. I don't want it to be like too thick of a band. Okay, this is what I think I got this in 18 inches, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe shorter than that but thank you thank you trust wellness for sponsoring this video i will have a link down below and if you click that link you can actually save 10 percent on this already freaking this is not expensive at all y'all um this wax warmer and then it came with so much stuff i want to say it was about 30 bucks or 40 bucks if that but again um i'll have that price in the beginning of the video and i'll have the link down below where you can save an additional freaking um 10 percent. so be sure to click that link also again comment anything down below anything that you do if you use aloe vera if you use coconut oil or any type of oil to remove residue if you do any pre-care, after-care, whatever you do. But I told you guys what I've been using. Um, I've really been loving that turmeric soap. That has been a staple in my weeks, okay? Every other day, I'm like, where's my turmeric soap? But I have, like, some residue here. So, anywho, I hope you guys enjoy, like, get into everything. Skin, hair, lashes, brows that's not even done. Like, come on now, somebody. 